Hi, I'm Tricia from Equine Energetics, and I'm an animal communicator and healer. And this video is about ways that you can increase your animal communication skills. Do you ever wish that instead of getting someone like me to talk to your horse or your pets, that you could increase your own animal communication skills and get clear information from them? That if you asked them a question, you'd get a straight answer? How useful would that be? If you're even the tiniest bit connected to your animals, you'll already be getting all sorts of information from them. After all, since they can't talk, animals have many other ways of trying to convey to us what they need and want. You might be able to understand what they're saying by watching their body language or their behaviour. In other words, you don't necessarily need to be able to hear them to know what they're trying to tell you. However, learning how to get answers from your horse or your pets to your specific questions can take your relationship to a whole new level. Some of you are probably already getting the more woo-woo type of information from your horse. So you might be getting random feelings, hearing words or sentences. You might get pictures or maybe premonitions about what's going to happen. But what do they mean? I regularly hear people say, how do I get this information more consistently? How do I get it when I want it? I'm getting words or pictures, but how do I know what it means? How do I get him to answer an actual question instead of all this random stuff? And often people say to me, surely I'm making this up. I'm, I'm just going crazy. Well, to increase your animal communication skills and get clearer on what you're getting, when, and what it means, here are my top tips. The first is to have a structured routine. Do the same things each time. Consistency in how you practice and regular practice are key. It's only by doing the same things each time that you'll start to um, recognize when something changes. If you try something different every single time, you're not gonna know what's right and what's just something random that you're making up. Second thing is to be curious about the information that is shared or available to you and not pushy about it. So just be open and curious. That also keeps you more in your body and not in your head. If you're constantly thinking, come on, answer me, tell me, <laughs> then you're too much up here and you're probably not going to get anything. I'd recommend you keep notes about what you get each time and what you think it might mean. If you know you tend to get words, make sure you're listening. If it's pictures that you normally get, be open to whatever is shown to you and write it all down. Notice if there's a pattern or if you're getting more each time. And believe in what you're getting and act on it. If you discount it every time or think you're making it up or, um, you know, it doesn't mean anything, then you'll find less and less being presented to you. If you're looking for more information on how to increase your skills, jump into my self-study animal communication course. The link's in the comments. And until then, keep connecting with your horses.